February is Black History Month, and today we're highlighting one of the many black women of the civil rights movement. Jennifer Bellamy is here now with more on the life and legacy of Zernona Clayton. Well, Zernona Clayton is familiar with the spotlight. She's been standing on stages for the past 60 years with the continuous mission of moving her community forward. She's created her own path while making sure the light continues to shine for the generations coming behind her, and she tells us she's not done yet. The civil rights movement meant my life, my world, my hope. It's a hope Zernona Clayton has been able to watch manifest over many decades. A hope she helped create when she moved to Atlanta in 1965. And just like most women of the movement, she wore many hats. And one thing you find that when you're in uh, the struggle for equality, there's no such thing as a role. Um, you do whatever has to be done. But you didn't see her or many other women of the movement on the front lines for a reason. Dr. King really didn't want us as women to be on the firing line in those awful um, marches. The women worked out the logistics. If they were hurt, uh, we got to fix them up. If they go, go to jail, we got to get the money to get them out of jail. Even raising money for the movement by going on tours across the South and putting on concerts, developing her lifelong friendship with Coretta Scott King. That friendship did a lot for me and my relationship with um, uh, Dr. King and the movement. Her most prominent role yet came in 1967, when she became the South's first African American to host her own primetime show here in Atlanta. But I really had on my mind all the time that I've got to be good because this is gonna be an example. Opening the door was the feeling I still have today. She continues to open doors for her community today while putting their accomplishments on display through her foundation and her annual Trumpet Awards show. It propels me to do the next good, um, that I don't run away from people who are in need. And her words to the next generation of freedom fighters. Do as much as you can, as often as you can but never sit on your can. An incredible life and an awesome legacy. Miss Clayton has been honored with a street sign in a park plaza in downtown Atlanta, and she will also be memorialized with a statue later this year. Never sit on your can. Nope. We like it. <laughs> she always gives us something memorable. And you can read much more of Zernona's story and the story of countless other black Georgians who have helped shape our history on our website, 11alive.com.